So Prisco is a retail company and other two are the energy one like uh, they supply power to the uh, uh, businesses like the small businesses or uh, large businesses or to the or to the uh, household as well. So first I will start with the Prisco Group Limited. So the company function are retail chain as already discussed in New Zealand by providing homeware and sports equipment to the consumers. So so the the Prisco is a very big retail chain. They deal in uh, like every sort of household stuff, like sports or like uh, homeware. And this is uh, the headquarters is situate, situated in the Dunedin, New Zealand, and it's been functioning like more than 1,500 employees are working there. And so the, pro the products are available to the consumer under the brand names Prisco Homeware, Apple Sport, and Dunedin Daily. So. Next one is Meridian Energy Limited. It's uh, as I told, like it's one of the biggest or the largest company in New Zealand. It provides about thirty-five percent of, of the electricity across the country as well. The company is uh, located in uh, Wellington with more than one thousand employees and as a subsidiary power shop. So, and the Nova is a New Zealand company as well. It's also supply the same thing like the energy, like but it's still in the domestic or the customer like the con uh, commercial consumers, and they also deal in the uh, natural gas. So they provide to the valuable price for the consumers. So yeah, it's only it's also located in the Wellington. So these are the environmental factors like that are chosen in the business. In, in, a, in the company, for the example, in this course, you can see the customers, the purchase behavior and shift in their choice of preference create a strong influence in the kind of product or services that offered by a company. So, so I have selected the two things, the consumer customers and the technology. So as you know, that there is a fast pace, like uh, developments taking in, in technology. So, there is influencing and shifting the retail environment as well. So, as you can see with the Meridian, so here the external environment is considered for the Meridian because it's working in the electricity generation and retailing industry. And the second one is laws and regulation. Meridian Energy has aligned its operation with the Implementation Act. So, these are the act which the, this company is following, like the the Health and Safety Act 2015 and the Implementation Act 2015. Yeah. So, in the NOVA, we talk about the competitors and their customers. So, the competitors of uh, NOVA is like like the Meridian as well, but it's competitor, it's competitor as well. And uh, the customers are, it's being difficult for the NOVA to develop its market share for. Uh, Loyal for brand loyal customer, this factor has been influencing the profit and the revenue of the uh, company, and therefore Nova has to come up with a strategy that could help him in handling the external environment factors. So this is the complex situation. Like for the first course, uh, they have to identify like the, what sort of customer the products they like and how to like to influence the two factors of sales and marketing and research development. Mm -hmm. Second is Meridian in experience a complex situation resulting from the resource factor of the external environment. And the third one is like the Nova Energy they experience the challenge of a brand loyalty. So it's not a low brand but it's just a brand loyalty by the customers which is an outcome of the ineffectiveness of the sales and marketing function and the human resources. So these are the techniques like how we can improve those things. So the environmental intelligence would be improved through the management of research and development activities which further will help for preschools to come up with better products. So with this uh, technique we can easily like, deal in the problem or easily 
uh, solve that problem like that we're facing before. So, and the second is, Nova can enhance and manage the performance of its sales and marketing function and the human resource function to the use of controlling external environment technique of the management, of the technique of management. Yeah. So, so Nova can manage uh, these things as like they're getting uh, feedback from their customers and then like take a decision like how to improve the quality of their product that they're serving to the businesses or to the customers. So these are the stakeholders like in the principles the the relationship with employees would be to inclusion of career development opportunities their employment cycle is supposed to provide applications to learn for the contribution in the growth of the company. So and the second one is Meridian and LG are internal stakeholders that have the great influence in handling the impact of environment factors. So in the in Meridian there is a one external which is the government and and the board of directors are considered as the internal one. So there is a compliance which is a, uh, there is a different different compliance in all the three com companies like some are internal and some are external. Uh, the internal, internal which is done by the company only and uh, external are those ones like for example they following any rules and regulation of the council. So yeah, I mentioned I have mentioned like uh, in compliance like so the the health and safety in a in a no volte already implemented in the company only so so they can check or they can uh, do survey in their company to check if everything is working or not so it's similar in basically you know, all those three uh, three businesses and so this is the conclusion like. Like how the New Zealand, uh, suppose if anyone wants to in invest in this country, so they must know about the New Zealand market and how much they are stable. So as we know that the New Zealand uh, market is stable. And uh, so the case study of this course that we try that the customer behavior is not easily placed because of the lower technical communication and the lack of research and development activities conducted. So, this is also already discussed the economic growth is quite steady and stable in the past few years because of uh, there is a low inflation rate and the government also users has introduced strict business instruction which help companies to take necessary measures and decision while they expand their business with the country. And the last one is the high purchasing power of consumer is an outcome of the employment and increase in the minimum wage that are given by the government. Okay, audience, you can ask questions. Or you can ask questions from the audience. How can we communicate with the stakeholders? As I told you, like, uh, we can communicate uh, uh, <coughs> with different, through different things, uh, like uh, daily meetings or like, uh, or like, or like a weekly meetings. For example, uh, Board of Director can conduct meeting like every week uh, in the NOVA company so they will know like what's the problem or what uh, challenges we are facing or what solution we have to do to prepare uh, for the future. Any other questions? Some of the like suppose in a small actually these are the medium group medium scale businesses are just uh, just two businesses that are totally meridian and over the medium scale so they are like uh, do the meetings in just like the months or like two months and but in the big organization like uh, 
they don't do like a, in a one or two months, at least they do in a like six months or in a 12 months. If anything, a big need of change they want, then they only do uh, like the, as soon as possible they, they can. But as we see in this book, they mostly do the meetings with the external stakeholders after six months. Yeah, I, I told about the Marilyn and Nova only, so I just told you before, like this course, they don't do like one or two months. But if they need a really big change, then they only do this one. Okay. So, do you want to ask any questions from the audience? Okay, so just one twenty. So, your presentation was stronger to the microphone.